Hello, cacao lovers. So, I thought this morning we could run through some of the basics of polyphonic singing together and just touch on how to get started and just some of the basic, um, basic ways you can start polyphonic singing and start actually creating a sound. So, I am not going to go through warm-up exercises today, but I will provide a link below to some vocal exercises you can do to warm up the throat and open up the vocal cords. But today, I just wanted to share some basic sounds that you can start creating. And mind you, I am a beginner, and I only started a little while back. And while my practice hasn't been consistent, I love it. It's just, it's just fun, and especially when you find really awesome acoustics and you create the sound i highly recommend starting in your bathroom which might sound a little bit weird but i end up having really long showers just um in the shower practicing the singing the throat singing or in the car as well they both have really great acoustics and you'll probably be able to hear the sound a lot sooner and a lot better uh, when you start you might think that you sound a bit like a mosquito you probably will <laughs> I mean, I did, um, but after a while of practicing, it, you become familiar with the sound and you can start varying the volume and make it a bit more pure sounding. Like I said, I'm still a beginner and while this might be humorous for some, it's actually a really great way to reconnect with nature. It also is a really amazing gateway to connect with animals as well. Animals really are attuned to this sound and I'll tell you one quick story. When I used to live down by the beach, there was these cliffs that I would go to at night time and I'd be over the coastline. And so I'd sit at the edge of the cliff and it happened about three times that I went there and I was practicing the throat singing and out of nowhere, a fox came onto the cliff and was literally right next to me. And I just kept singing and I just stayed there. And there's been times that I've been down in the country and I've been practicing the throat singing and possums have come down. So, you know, it's a very powerful thing. And I feel through the practice, it's like a meditation. And I would say starting out like I am as well, while it might not be the most beautiful sound uh, straight away, as you'll probably witness, there's a deeper appreciation the more that you practice. And the more you can treat it as a spiritual practice of reconnecting with nature and reconnecting with animals, then yeah, I would highly recommend looking into it. And if you want any resources or tips that I got from my teacher so far, uh, please let me know and I will share with you. But for now, I just wanted to show some basic ways to create the sound. Please have some water. Water helps because my throat gets really dry and you probably find that as well. Okay, so one of the basic ways to start is just practice with the tip of your tongue uh, saying the word n mm, or the letter n. Mm, so, mm. so that's just getting with um, use of the vibration. Then I would practice going from the vowels, so E to U, so E, U, E, U, E, U, a little bit like this and going really, taking it really slow and it's almost like a mindfulness practice, so just paying really close attention to the vibration that your vocal cords and your tongue, lips are all creating, the space in between and what that sounds like, whether it produces a sound or not, uh, it's more just getting mindful of the space and the vibration that you're creating. So like this. So like that. So that was E to U. Another great one is saying the word more. 
but saying more really slowly, so like more like that. Um, <clears throat> this is what can sound a little bit mosquito-like at first, and it might be doing it now, but it's a really way, great way to practice and just elongating those vowels. And once again, being paying, um, being mindful to the vibration, the sound that is being created, and how that feels inside as well, especially if you're out in nature or in the shower with the water element. Um, so like this. So like that. Then another great one that I like is to practice the L sound, like ooh, ooh. Um, so you do that by taking the tongue to the back of the mouth and um, almost pulling it right back. And this might take a while to get used to, but just play around with the tongue in the mouth. Place the tongue in different positions when you're making the noises and see what happens as well. So like this. Like that. So just quickly again, it'll going from E to U, so E U like E more, so E and the L sound, so So there was some basic ways that you can start creating a sound. And what I'm finding, what I'm working towards is when you start and when you could hear my voice then, of course you could hear both tones. So you'll probably hear a lower note, which would be my voice, so the E, U, E, U. And then you might hear the pitch above or a little bit more above of the actual polyphonic sound coming through. So. You heard that, I hope so. Um, and then what you're working towards is really silencing down that bottom bottom note so it becomes quieter and quieter and then soon enough you'll be able to just hear the polyphonic pitch and that will be going up and you can actually create a melody starting off with scales and then creating songs through that pitch which is a very beautiful sound. So right now as you can see I'm a beginner, I can hear both sounds and my intention is to refine by um, really mellowing out and dissolving that bottom note and then just having that pure polyphonic sound coming through. So hopefully we can work through this together and I'd love any tips or pointers from any fellow um, polyphonic or Mongolian throat singers out there. Uh, I think it's an amazing practice and I'm looking forward to continuing and to sharing with each other and yeah let me know how you find those practices and any vocal exercises that you guys would recommend as well. Much love. Bye.